Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game by Mikhail Tal once again. So in this chess game Tal has the white pieces and his opponent was Fidemaster from Netherlands, Gunther John Balloon. So this is a massive chess game of Mikhail Tal from 1986. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Tal starts the game with e4, e5 and we have Dario Lopez. Asking a question, bishop goes back and then g6, d4, charging at the center, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, developing the bishop and attacking the knight. So capturing the knight, damaging the pawn structure and then Mikhail Tal castled knight to e7, f4, f5. So in this position black would like to castle, but if castling then f5 is possible. So we have f5, closing, uh, fixing the f pawn. E takes on f5 and then if capturing back with the g pawn, it is going to weaken the light squares. So knight takes on f5 but then rook to e1 check by Mikhail Tal. So if blocking with the knight then queen to e2 and black sooner or later black might have to uh, move the king uh, because how do you defend the pink knight? So this is why we have moving the king and then Tal is developing his knight. Knight to c3 and then Rook over and fighting for the open file. Knight is getting one step closer to the king and king goes back. C3, so potentially defending on b2. Rook over and then g4, very aggressive, attacking the knight. So knight goes back, pushing the pawn in front of the king, kicking the knight back and then checking the king, blocking with the knight and then queen to e2 by Tal. I hope you can see the threat. So the threat is knight to f6 and then winning the exchange. So connecting the rooks, bishop to b7 and then capturing the knight check and pushing the pawn f5 and this is also potentially liberating the bishop. d5 checking the king and we have moving the king. So if queen takes knight in between move, white also has in between move. Queen takes on e8, that's check. So rook takes, bishop takes on g5. And then rook takes on e1, well white has the exchange and white is easily winning. So in this position, after checking the king, we have moving the king. And after this move, uh, this move also has a downside. Mikhail Tal is placing his knight on e6. And this is a monster knight, knight to e6. And attacking the queen, so defending the queen and then bishop to f4, targeting on c7. So we have bishop to c8 and simply capturing the pawn, defending the rook and then queen to f2, unpinning the knight, queen to f7. So black is also unpinning, uh, moving the queen. So in this position, if capturing the knight, then rook takes on e6 and if capturing the bishop with the queen, then rook takes rook. So this is already looking pretty bad for black. It looks dangerous. So queen over and then queen to f7. And Tal played capturing the bishop and exchanging some of the material. Rook takes on c7 and it is white to move. White has a very strong move in this position. So can you see the next move of Mikhail Tal? Actually, it is a very simple move and it is a must in this position. So that move wins, in my opinion, on the spot. And defending is very difficult after that. Positionally losing for black. So did you see the move? Okay, Tal played f6 and cementing the knight and this dislodging this piece is very difficult. And rook is coming, so pushing the pawn, making room for the king so that black doesn't have to give up his queen. And then h4 and Tal is sacrificing his pawn and black accepted. One mistake is all it takes. It is white to move again. Can you see the next move of the magician from Riga? It is a very simple move, so I hope you can guess the next move of Mikhail Tal. Okay, so Tal played queen to f4, so both attacking the bishop and also attacking on h6. Another mistake by black, but this position is completely losing, so if something like bishop to d7, then rook to e7 is winning on the spot. And I think this, that is also a blocking the rook. So the queen can take. So anyway, uh, this is a difficult position. So Mr. Balloon played h5, 
defending like this, but this move is losing immediately. Defending the bishop and also defending the h-pawn, but Mikhail Tal checks the king and Mr. Balloon resigned in this position. Well, the balloon didn't want to go up in this position. Uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Balloon. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Come on, give me a break. Is it possible not to make any jokes about this name? So I prepared this joke. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But I think it's a hilarious name. So it's a small joke. It's, a, it's an innocent small joke. So I hope uh, you can forgive me about this silly joke. So anyway. Uh, Mr. Balloon didn't want to go up, but if he goes up, if the balloon goes up, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I'm getting confused, sorry, uh, uh, Mr. Balloon, I mean, if Mr. Balloon goes up, then can you see the next move for white? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? The finish is fantastic. And that is queen to h6, checking the king, sacrificing the queen, and then checkmating the king like this. Fantastic! Another amazing chess game by Mikhail Tal. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, this didn't happen because uh, Gunter John Balloon, uh, the FIDE master from Netherlands, resigned in this position. So otherwise uh, he would get checkmated or he would have to give up the queen and that would still be a losing game. So, okay. I hope you have enjoyed watching this again. So I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. Take care. And bye-bye.